Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tarun again back with another controversial fitness video. So ever since I've done that video about uh, do actors take steroids, I've been getting host of questions from each one of you. Hey Tarun, which one steroid do they take? How do they take? Are they safe? Uh, should we take them? Boss, I've told you in the past and I'm going to tell you this again. It's their fucking job to look good on camera. They get paid to look good. They are medically monitored. They have a very strict dietitian follow, uh, you know, um, observing them and giving them diet plans. They have a doctor aligned to them, checking their lipids level, checking their blood pressure, checking every movement of their just to ensure they are safe. And they have access to the right kind of juice, the right kind of gear, the right kind of steroids. Do you steroids to know about steroids? Cool, here it is. I'll tell you, what is a typical steroid cycle of an actor or a bodybuilder or a fitness model? Usually, these people don't take anything. If there is a contest in 12 months, if it's like today, let's say it's, uh, it's January, and let's say my competition is in November. Chances are, uh, January to July, I won't take anything. Problem is, if I'm a competitive bodybuilder, then my just a cycle of testosterone or DECA. I'll just keep, you know, I'll just take that. If I'm a, a professional bodybuilder. But if I'm an actor, or actors ko to always fit rehna hai. Mere paas, to always fit. I have to stay there for 9 months, 8 months. I don't want to be Amir Khan, that I will ask for one year that I will ask for time. And you know, they will give me that time to make a body that was made in the Gajni. Mein. That's a different discussion. Was that natural or not natural? We all know the answer to that. So, uh, what is a classic steroid cycle for film actors? So, let's start with the juice, the gear. Typically, uh, uh, they usually uh, inject uh, stanozolol. You know, the stanozolol is obviously a hardening agent. It helps you lose a lot of water from your body, and the dosage could vary. You know, the dosage could be uh, uh, as it could it could start from say 200 or 300 mg a week. It go up to 500 mg with a shot every day, depending on how close or how much time do they actually have for that shoot. Uh, number two. They may also try, uh, depending on the, the role they're looking for, how sharper do they want to look. Uske baad, they can also add like something like a, uh, you know, a trend, you know, trenbolone acetate, you know, which is again a hardening agent. A synergy of trenbolone and Winstrol is, is, is amazing put together. They would also need, so these are injectable, there could be some orals as well. Orals could be, you know, um, uh, as uh, probably a clen, uh, clenbuterol, you know, again, uh, you, you know, given to uh, Asthmatic patients, uh, they can try, you know, they usually take it, so they go up till about uh, uh, 80 mcgs. I remember uh, it's all over the internet when Brad Pitt was trying to prepare for Troy, and I'm not saying it, it's all there on the internet, what all cycle, you know, right from an hour, again, an hour is an oral steroid, you know, it's a pill, uh, a 10 mg pill, uh, even actors, some of the actors also choose to take an hour because it's relatively safer compared to Trenvalone. Uh, about say about 50 to 60 mg a day and then plus an hour is super expensive so one tab will looking at somewhere between 30 to 40 rupees so it, it, it varies around that much Uske saath saath, they also have a test base like some actors uh, have different bodies you know unki body you know pani zyada hold karti hai. so if you're holding a lot of water uh, chances are they would not be given test testosterone it will just be plain hardening agents like Winstrol, Tren and, and Clen put together and on diet, diet will be somewhere about all boiled food. Boiled chicken, boiled fish, grilled fish, you know, salmon, tuna, your uh, veggies, sauteed veggies and, and, and stuff like that. No salt, no sugar. Clean cut diet for next one month, two month, whatever time do they have. Plus backing it up with juice. This juice is uh, again, Tren, Stana and your uh, um, Clen and, and, and all this and an hour put together. This is more of a steroid cycle. Plus, they also take, uh, depending on how their body conditioning is, you know, they also take uh, uh, AGH peptides, growth hormones. Now, growth hormones could vary again from people to people and from bodies to bodies. So, usually, it's been touted that GH does not have uh, or they do not have too much of side effects, is what the world says. But I think it's bull. 
uh, if you were to read about them, if you were to read about HGH, uh, they enlarge pretty much every body part of yours, right from your heart to your bones. Uh, you know, uh, if you see Ronnie Coleman uh, uh, in his, uh, 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 now, he, you, sh you should see his elbow. Salah, दस इंच बाहर निकल गई है पता लग रहा है कि he has abused this but bodybuilders का तो हमें पता ही होता है ना I don't know who are we fooling right but actors का it's they do it very subtly so so that we don't get to know about it it's smart of them it's their profession it's the way they are no we don't do it we are natural fruits का क्या हम बनाते हैं पानी भी क्या हम बनाते हैं crap so HGH is another thing that they can actually they they do it and now the dosage of HGH also could vary from people to people you know usually for a guy who wants to pack on muscle and wants to look ripped, would take about somewhere between uh, uh, you know four to eight IU's a day, and these IU's these are all injectables to be injected in your stomach. आप वो बनाने पड़ते हैं या या तो वो प्रीमेड आते हैं पानी के साथ डिस्टल वाटर के साथ वो बनाने पड़ते हैं आपको and they are edgy it has to be refrigerated. It's a super expensive drug. It's not even a drug actually if you were to ask me. It's just uh, in micrograms, it's something that you need to inject every day in your, on your stomach. And then you will see that people who inject GH, they have a GH gut. Their feet are out of the way. Like if you see all the bodybuilders, if you remember last year Mr. Olympia, you know where everybody was talking about bodybuilder gut. That's exactly what a GH does if you abuse them. And, and bodybuilders, GH dosage goes right from, you know, 20 IUs to about 40 IUs a day. Plus, they also use insulin. Insulin is usually given to people who who are diabetic. Plus, body but bodybuilders actually use it to uh, increase their appetite. You know, to so that they have carb absorption better, carb carbohydrate absorption better, so that they could eat more and get more bigger. Because insulin is touted to be uh, the most potent and most dangerous drug of all. By the way, guys, this video is only for information purposes. I am by no means trying to tell you that this is what you should do. मेरा काम यहाँ पे आपको एजुकेट करने का है यू नो समथिंग दैट यू शुड नो व्हाट दे डू अगर आपको लगता है कि हम जितने एक्टर्स को देखते हैं वो नेचुरल हैं और उन्होंने सारी बॉडी जिम में मेहनत करके बनाई है बिल्कुल बनाई है यार जिम में मेहनत करी है और वो दिखती है बट जिम के साथ साथ थोड़ी फार्मास्यूटिकल हेल्प भी लेना जरूरी होता है इनको क्योंकि इनके पास टाइम कम होता है इट्स द जॉब इट्स द वे दैट दे आर बट माई ओनली पॉइंट यू इज भाई इन्फ्लुएंस मत हो देख के Uh, you know these bodies are only made for their one particular shot. एक shot के लिए वो body बनती है चाहे वो आमिर खान की गजनी body हो चाहे वो जॉन इब्राहिम की फोर्स बॉडी हो चाहे वो किसी भी एक्टर की बॉडी हो या वो फरहान अख्तर की बाघ मिल खबा बॉडी हो दीज बॉडीज आर मेड ओनली फॉर दैट वन पर्टिकुलर शॉट एंड दैट शॉट कुड भी फॉर टू मिनट्स टू फाइव मिनट्स टू सेवन मिनट्स वन सेट शॉट इज अवर बूम इट्स ऑल नेचुरल इट्स द वे दे आर सो इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट अ get inspired get inspired looking at them but don't try to follow them i always tell you that so my only point to you is that if you really want to uh, look like them you can but if you want to do it naturally i would urge you to go to the natural route don't follow anything but the natural route of uh, 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 gymming so my other point that i wanted to make for this video uh, was that uh, i'm going through a natural transformation uh, uh, you know wherein you will get to see me transforming myself naturally without the help of juice of course uh, uh, but again this is going to be on a permanent basis I'm not going to be doing this you know using sterile last time I did it you know and I couldn't last for very long actually because I'm not an actor I realized that uh, but I want to try it out so that I could share my first hand experience with you all so I hope this video helps you I hope this video helps you uh, uh, making an informed decision that how you should not be using steroids because these are temporary. You know, it, it is, you're just tapering with your body for no rhyme or reason unless and until you, your body demands it, you get paid for it and you're medically monitored. So that's it from my side. And you're on a few who have any questions for me regarding fitness, regarding juice, steroid, diet, food, anything and everything. Please feel free to uh, ask me a question on my WhatsApp or on my uh, Facebook or on my YouTube channel and I'll be very, very happy to answer your question. But you can always expect one thing from me, truth and honesty. That's nothing. That's I'm not going to compromise any of them. I'll be sharing the best of my knowledge with whatever I know. Even though I have to go to any extent to get beaten up by everybody, that's cool. But at least you'll get the right and honest perspective from me. So till we meet again, see you.